<laughs> yo, 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 once again, we're back. This is Widgets and Messages Podcast. Of course, I'm Mo. I'm Mike. And this is Do Work Media Sunday, so you know we got to have my dog Drew Money on the boards. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, sir. How y'all Yeah, living? sir. Feeling How y'all good, fellas man. feeling, man? Feeling we got my dog Sweet Pusher Jones in the building, too. He in the cut. So, you know, you already know what type of time we on, man. Dog lurking. Dog <laughs> lurking, man. How y'all, How y'all feeling today, man? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. How was y'all week, man? Y'all had a good real week. Good, week. Real yeah, good, real you know good. Yeah. Right, nothing wrong with that, man. My, my, week, my week was pretty good, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, always, shout out to all our listeners, man. Shout out to all the listeners. Shout out to all the uh, SoundCloud listeners, album listeners. Shout out to everybody watching it on YouTube. You know, everybody subscribe <laughs> to the YouTube. You yes, know? we do have a YouTube we page. We do have a YouTube page. For a SoundCloud comment that said this should be on the show, we have a YouTube page. You know, that's it's not a diss. We just informing you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, like I said, how y'all, you know, y'all had a good week? Y'all had any, any events going on? Everything good? Like, uh, no, I had no events. No? Nah, I've just been working, as always. Work. Walked downtown yesterday. It was a nice day yesterday. It was a beautiful day yesterday, man. Stopped by a rare bit. Got that chicken and waffle? Nah, chicken sandwich and mac and cheese. The mac, you got to get the mac and cheese. Yeah, they mac and yeah. cheese. I mean, no matter what you get, you got to get that mac and cheese. Shout out to my dog, Jay. <laughs> Jay! Jay! <laughs> <laughs> Jay, <laughs> shout out my dog, man. Whipping that thing together, man. All right, man. Yeah. Shout out to Jay, man. He knows who he is, man. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the shits, man. Like this has been a, you know, we didn't have an eventful week, but a few people did have a very eventful week, man. Uh, as we all know, uh, Meg Thee Stein has made her contract situation very public, and um, you know her is it's looking like it's a fifteen oh one versus Meg Thee Stallion. Versus whoever else is in the in the background on Meg Corner. So, how y'all feeling about this shit, man? What's going on, man? I mean, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. Uh, my opinion, outside looking in, um, just ho- just how it came out, it seemed like it's something that's been brewing. Um, especially when you go back and you look at, you go to fifteen oh one and. Certain posts, them not tagging her in certain posts. He was been hashtagging her name, hashtagging her name for plaques she received, and you know all that. So it seemed like something that's been brewing over time. Um, you know, I'm not a fan of making contract disputes public, but you know, once it's out there, it's out there. So yeah. in my opinion, like, it seemed like there's a lot of inconsistencies, except for the fact that you know everybody's arguing about what's a good deal, what's not. That seems to be the dispute. Mm-hmm. Um, based off everything else, everybody knows it's a forty sixty split. Um, you know, Carl saying that he's owed show money. Contract says she nets one hundred percent of her show money. So, like I said, it's made inconsistencies on that part. You got Jay Prince involved. He dropping his opinion on it. Um, I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be interesting to see how this uh. Shapes out. She says not a publicity stunt. She said it's weak for y'all to keep trying to bring up Rock Nation and Jay Z in this. They ain't got nothing to do with it. Um, you know, so and she said her album that drop is not really an album. She said she's still working on her album, so and she's owed she owed fifteen on one four four albums due to the contract. So mm-hmm. depending on if she gets bought out or not, or she continues to work things out. I mean, how she talking? She said she never wanted to leave. She just wanted to renegotiate some shit. So right, but I can see on the label side of it, like, man, you haven't even gave me an album yet. So yeah, these it, it's not like why would I why would I renegotiate some shit before your first album? Like, nah. So I understand that. So I understand that side of it. For her to get bought out her contract, it would be on her to you know deliver the buyout price. Yeah, like you gotta you say, get that money back somehow. She ain't even gave them one album yet. Like I think like. One of the things I read from the contract, it was saying they owed an uh, album that's at least 45 minutes or something. Yeah, something they broke like down that. even the minutes or something yeah, like that. Like yeah. her, I think, uh, was it... Uh, Fever and Tina Snow, I don't think it's 45 minutes. Fever is like 40 minutes. The new shit is 24 minutes, and the one before that was like 30 minutes, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. That's what people say, like her best one. What, Tina Snow? Mm-hmm. A lot of people didn't like the sugar... Uh, EP. Yeah, I saw a lot of. It's uh, doing well streaming wise though. It's doing well streaming wise because of the everything that's around it. You know what I'm saying? But so you, you buying know, into the uh, publicity stunt? 
I mean, if she's saying it's not a publicity stunt, I can't really go against it. I will say the the song's not really hitting like that to me. Like I would have said this whether whether or not whatever was going on around it. Like I don't Yeah, I only like one of the songs. Yeah, them songs really not hitting like that. Um I'll say this though. Uh since the Tina Snow project, which was like I think that was strictly fifteen on one, like pushing it. A lot of balls have been dropped when it comes to her like whole like her whole like shebang, you know what I'm saying? So it's like with the Fever album, they didn't push like three to three of the biggest singles that was on it. I don't was it was it two or three of them? Let me look. I think the song with the baby, they didn't push that album. They didn't push that song how that supposed to be pushed. It was another album another single on that album that really wasn't pushed. The the Nicki Minaj single, that didn't really do what it was supposed to do because Big Old Freak. Big Old Freak was on Tina Snow? Mm-hmm. That was 2018. Okay, that was on Tina's. Oh, Fever right. had a uh, cash it with the baby. That was okay, last and year. And that had the that had the hot girl summer song on it too, right? Uh, no, nah, hot girl summer was just a single. It was just a single. Okay, <laughs> see, like those. It. I don't think. I don't think what was done needed to be done. And then with the whole when we figuring out now when like when it came out that 300 owns a lot of her trademarks. It kind of makes sense why the hot girl summer shit didn't really take off how I was supposed oh, to. I also looked that uh, Meg the Stein trademark. That yeah. shit was abandoned. It's, a, it's abandoned. Yeah, so meaning that it didn't it the uh, it didn't go through or the trademark was like canceled or something like that. But I did notice that in the parentheses. But all right, well, see, even with that, the like, other one, the other one is owned by Three Hundred. The uh, hot girl summer, yeah. And that's wild. Like they didn't even do nothing. They didn't do what they were supposed to do with that. Like nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like she should have been. That should have talking been, about like far merch wise. Yeah, merch wise, like just overall, like she should have owned that for one. Like three. Why is why is Lyra Conan owning that? You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I think it's more than just her fighting 1500. Like you gotta look at the bigger. It's too many hands in her pot right now. Like the whole. I don't even understand the 300 deal. Like. They just said the uh, distribution, but now they own her trademarks. They own her personal like likenesses. Like I don't understand that. Like that's that's my big thing. If it's the distribution, it should have been strictly distribution. Mm-hmm. Like I don't understand like why they owning like shit that she should be owning personally like outright. Mm-hmm. But you know, maybe that'll be another another chapter to this. Like I don't know. Um, but like yeah, like overall, I just feel like you know. I mean, if she with Rock Nation and they and they supposed to be, supposedly supposed to be managing her, then I guess them calling out whatever inconsistencies they see in her contracts, that's their job. But I just I just hope going forward, like you know, more advantages like for her are taken advantage of, like more like you know, like last summer was supposed to be like a a real take off summer for her. Mm-hmm. I don't think it really did. What she, she didn't do what she was supposed to do like that summer. So I mean, we're going to another summer nah, now. She, she owned twenty nineteen summer. She did own it, but I just feel like with the whole like, with the whole, it could have been bigger, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, maybe we might get an album this summer. You know, depending on like what's what happened in the next few months with this whole legal situation. So, you know, you never know what could happen. But like I said, I just going for I just want her to take advantage of more. Or more like uh, more business opportunities. Cause so being that like you uh, put out music before, like we, what do you feel is like a good deal for somebody start starting out? You think that she had a good deal? Because that seemed to be the dispute. I mean, from where I'm looking at the her deal, side, I feel like it's not fair. If His side, he feel like it's fair. Like, cause we talked about this. Like, if she was netting a hundred percent of her of her show money, and she was getting what a hundred a hundred thousand a hundred fifty dollar show, a hundred thousand a show. I ain't mad at that. Now the whole if they and now with the sixty forty, the then the thing that tripped me out was the forty percent. But she had to pay the producers, engineers, artists out the forty percent of her cut. Now, see, Carl said that wasn't true. That she was that they was they was handling the uh, the thing, and that's what that's what we were saying. Like it's too much. He say, she say. Like yeah. what are mm-hmm. the facts? Now when I when, now when we first talked about that, I said like if she if she's paying. The engineers and all this shit out of her cut, then that's wrong. Like, she, that's, I don't agree with that. But if he's saying that she wasn't, I can't really argue that. Like, I don't know who to, I don't know who's, who's, 
who's more legible here. Now, me personally, I don't. I wouldn't have a problem with that deal. That, to me, that's a good deal if she. Of uh, it was sixty four because you gotta think they put the money up to get her where she's at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, it's like it's hard to break an artist. Period. It's even harder to break a female artist. So it's like it's a lot of money that got you had to put into a female artist. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really, especially with the potential that she has. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I'm not knocking her or nothing. But I feel like know, it's a it's a sticky situation, yeah, it's especially sticky. for that label because it's new. Right. And she kind of like the premiere. Star on that label, like and she, he just starting out. So she took off like she just. She, I felt like if this was a major label, she would have had to eat that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. She would so, have to just eat that. This I'm ain't saying, like Universal or Atlantic. This right. is an up and coming label. So I'm like, I'm like, if she was already on a label, would we? Even and he ain't this? trying to lose her. He ain't trying to lose her. Exactly. So I'm like, if she was already on an Atlantic or something like that, would we, would we even? Would this even be a situation that we talking about? Probably would, but it probably wouldn't be as. Out, it just, outlandish or it look on a certain social way. media. It just look yeah. a certain way because this is a you know this is a a, a fairly new label. Mm-hmm. But we hear about these type of deals all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But all of a sudden, it's it's a certain narrative that go with it when it's an independent label that's involved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's to me personally, like, because even like we like we 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 brought up like d- different articles and it's been. It's it's even inconsistencies within yeah. the quote unquote facts of these of these contracts. So mm-hmm. I don't even know what's what at the end of the day. Like everybody's saying, it's public record, it's public record. Everybody's been reporting these public records. It's been differences within each each report. So it's like you know what's what. So to me personally, like from what I've been reading, I don't think it's a bad deal. Like you got to think like you got to think like a new label like this. They already taking a loss like putting this money into an artist, you don't know what's going to happen. Granted, with Megan's situation, she skyrocketed. You know she skyrocketed, saying? but I don't feel like she has that much. She might have leverage with this record label, but if this was another label, she wouldn't have that no, much she, leverage she because have to eat that. she don't have no album out. But she don't got an album out. She's But even with this situation, contractually, she hasn't, she hasn't given this label an album. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she owed, she owed that label four you know albums. What I'm saying like she owed them four albums. You ain't gave them not one album, and now you just trying to get about your deal. Get about well, not get out the deal, renegotiate. Yeah, renegotiate. But even I, on a, even on a, a a level sort of that's like you, you know, uh, you know, your job might have offered you a new position or something like that. And you like right out the gates, okay, well, I want this X amount of dollars instead of the dollars that you already given me. And it's like, well, you haven't even started your start date yet. Right. Like, how can we negotiate, you know, something that you haven't even made it to your start date yet? So, like I said, it's a sad situation. More so on, more for a record label that's just starting out because it's hard to get a record label booming. It's hard, especially now in the streaming area because a lot of people ain't signing record deals. No, they not. A lot of people not, and you know, Carl, especially with him having Jay Prince in his ear, you know, he ain't trying to lose that investment because he hit gold with that one. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, he ain't trying to lose that, especially if she got a Nicki Minaj type potential. And and who to say, I mean, because it's like I said, it's a real He looking situation. at it like, oh, I'm getting yeah, paid. Yeah, it's a sticky I'm invested. Yeah, Where was Rock Nation when, right. when, when we was out here grinding and all that? And he should feel like that, rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really should. Because the only thing I don't agree with with the whole Rock Nation thing is if it do come out that they was trying to poach, then, yeah, that's that's crazy. But on the terms of, like, reviewing her contract and, you know, them seeing some shit, I mean, that's, I would expect your management team to do that. If I hire, if I heard a certain amount of managers and lawyers, and I need them to look over my contract, and they see some red flags, like, is is that not what they supposed to do? Yeah, if, if that's your management, yeah, of course. Like, I'm not even mad at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that. Like you say, like, if it do come out that they was trying to poach, then that's a different conversation. Mm-hmm. But like I said earlier, like my whole thing is like we don't even know the extent of the 300 contract now. Cause like if they own in likenesses, we don't know what, what else is what else lies within that deal alone. Like 
I don't know what's within. I just know they the distribution aspect of it. Because from what Carl and I watched his interview, he said that we made sure that we retain like our masters and you know publishing rights when we did the deal with three hundred. They just the uh, yeah the, the uh, distribution. I mean uh, distribution part of it. But we made sure we retain. He has to sign off on everything before she releases it. But I remember, I remember like QC having a problem with three hundred two because they couldn't drop music for like eighteen months. Like they had music. they got a partnership with them. They had one, so it was kind of like a Rockefeller Def Jam type. Thing. It was because they had a they had an interview about this one. All of them was sitting down talking about it, and uh, like they was asking like what was like their biggest hurdle they had to come across in the industry. Offset was like the whole three hundred deal that we had. Like people don't remember, but I think this was around like No Label Three time when they had um, when they dropped the Dab song. And that was like a really, really big song. That was like 2015, 14. That was like 2015, like going in the, yeah, like twenty late 2014 going 2015. And that was like a really, really big song. And they couldn't really do nothing with it because 300 had prohibited them from dropping shit. Like they couldn't really do nothing with the song. They couldn't do no merch. They couldn't really do nothing. They was just getting by off mixtapes, off their mixtape shit. Granted, they was already... You know, they was on fire. They they was like, you know, on doing their thing. They was still getting show money and shit. But if you notice, they ain't had no 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 major releases like that until damn near bad and bougie. That was twenty sixteen. Cause they dropped they dropped the EP before that, and then culture came out what twenty sixteen. So it was like, you know, they was kind of on hold. And he was saying that was like the, the even P was like, yo, like I regret the whole three hundred thing because. We could have, you know, we missed out on a, on a golden opportunity, and we was we, you know, it was a rookie mistake on our part. So it's like I just don't want her yeah, to so have a culture was uh, distributed by three hundred, right? And that was that was that's how they got out of three hundred. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That was 2017. Damn. And I, you know, I just don't want her to, you know, get out whatever she got going, work out this situation, and still. So have they're in the capital. Yeah, they signed, and Motown. Yeah, they got a partnership with with Motown because Lil Baby, Lil Baby got a deal with Motown too through through QC. Yeah, I just saw a Quality Control, Motown, Capital Records for Culture Two. So No Label Two was under three hundred two. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. It just seemed like a lot of middlemen be be involved with like. But see the the thing with three hundred. What's like, wrong with QC not being a d- distributor too? Or well, that's just not how it goes in the music business. I mean, you can't distribute your own shit. You gotta have the means to do it. Oh, you know so they saying? probably go to the major label for the distribution yeah, aspect. Like, oh, okay, know, okay. Ain't nothing. It's nothing wrong. You just gotta know what you're getting into. Unfortunately, with the 300 situation, they it was some contractual shit, and they didn't really they didn't really know about it till it's too late. So you know, Kevin Lyles and Leo gotta clean that shit up, man. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I see Lior got his hands on you know Roddy Rich too. Like I don't. He signed the three hundred. I don't know if he signed the three hundred. I think. Let me see. He got his. I know. I know Lior works with him. I'm not sure like the business aspect of that too. But when I saw the picture, remember I sent you the picture. I was like, I wonder what Joe Budden got to say about this. You know what I'm saying? He's under Atlantic. He's under Atlantic. But what Lior? What 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 was Lior even like? You know? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what that can be. I have to read that that article. It was an article that dropped. Um, I got to read that. But, yeah, I just don't want Meg to end up, like, out of this situation and then still having to fight another, another, you know, go up another hill. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like with artists, artists like Meg, like, you know, they should just be, you know, allowed to do what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, she shouldn't have to worry about, you know, this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, her only, her only worry should be, you know... Studio shit, you know what I'm saying? What's going on in the studio, you know, so she can she can focus on her craft. Cause off the sugar shit wasn't it. Like it's not it, man. Like yeah, I mean, I, I think she just wanted to put something out just to give it to her fans because she haven't dropped nothing in a minute. So I don't know, but she says she's still working on her album. So it'd be interesting to see what come come from this. But you know, I really didn't feel the EP that much. Especially it only being like what twenty six minutes. It wasn't that much quality within that twenty six minutes. Like I said, I only like one of them songs. I don't, can't even remember the song that I liked. Like that's that's just how f- forgettable it is. Honestly, <laughs> you heard um, about uh, that shooting at Little Baby concert? 
Yes, I heard a, I heard about it. I just saw like some one shit person, about it. one person got shot or something like that. Word. I saw I yeah. saw something about it. I didn't really look into it, but that was that happened last night, you say? Yeah. yeah. In Birmingham, Alabama. Mm. Yeah, man, Alabama got a bad rap about it. Like a lot of a lot of shootings going at in uh them venues and shit in Alabama, man. For real? Yeah, um I don't know if y'all familiar with Doby, an artist named Doby. He was signed a hustle gang. Three years ago, he died on. He died on stage. He got shot on stage. He from Alabama. He got shot on stage and died. Unfortunately, rest in peace, Adobe. But um, yeah, like he always has some shit going on in Alabama, man. I'm I'm really surprised at that. Um, I know, man. They need to get together, man. (laughs) Like, why we shooting at concerts, man? Like, that shit was. We don't need no more artists uh, hurt. People in general hurt. Yeah. You know, you already got, you already done lost some, some people this year, to some, just senseless, senseless shit. Is Pop Smoke still supposed to be releasing an album? Um, I saw Fifty Cent say he was gonna finish his album for him. He's gonna executive produce the album, to make sure it come out. His funeral was just uh, what was that Thursday or Friday? Yeah. Yeah. So, I did see that Fifty Cent said that he was listening to a lot of his music. He was gonna um. He was gonna make sure that I'm gonna like a little 50 cent vibe. Yeah, he kinda do got that. That voice. Yeah. Um I heard that was it, is that true that 50 Cent um is gonna be VP at Def Jam? Oh, I true? don't know. Is I he? saw I saw a lot of people talking about it tweet. I didn't I didn't see him like release no public statement about it, but I did hear that he was gonna take over as either the president or some shit like that at Def Jam. I think that would be a good move for him. Yeah, because Rosenberg just uh stepped down, right? Or was yeah, that, some, was yeah, that somewhere one, else? Somebody stepped down. So I I think that would be a good move for him if he did that. He can he can possibly make that like a hub for, for New York mm-hmm. again. So uh, if he did do that, that would be cool for him. There ain't really no pop in New York artists, bro. Yeah. Except for And Cardi. a lot of the, a lot of the youth, a lot of the, you know, the youth in New York, they they gravitate towards him anyway. So Yeah. It's probably except for Cardi, A Boogie. Uh the only ones I could really like, really hot. Like, yeah. I thought Dave East was gonna be one, but he ain't really. He was already like on that. Def Jam, though, right? I think so. He already had a Def Jam situation. He on, because uh, he, he was on, under Nas. Uh, yeah, he's still on Nas album on label, the Mass Appeal label. Um, uh, I don't know, man. We so you we as far as Dave East, what do you think? What do you think his like his ceiling is now? You think it's kind of much? He is what he is now. He kind of plateaued. Could be, yeah. I mean, he don't really get me excited to listen to his new shit. Right. Like that 2015, 16 time, yeah, but now it's kind of like, that's crazy how time, like time just f- flew like that. Like that was four or five years ago already. Mm-hmm. I first heard that man, so I don't know. I feel like he should already have like a critically acclaimed album by now. But he ain't really had nothing that really like grasped me since he dropped. So, I don't know, we'll see, man. As far as other New York artists go, like, I don't know, man. I just feel like they got to pick up the ball some, man, if they want to be known as, like, the like the staple again. Will you, do you think that's even possible now for New York to be, like, the... Anything is possible. The mecca of, uh, again, like... Anything is possible. I mean, I get that, too. But I think a lot has to happen for that to happen. Like, I feel like, you know... Even like you know, times do change. Remember when A. S. I. Rocky supposed to be that the guy to really take off? Yeah, for New York. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Okay, and even with, even with A. S. I. Like, okay, like I get it. Like we in a different time now. Everybody's influenced by different sounds, but at the end of the day, you still know. Oh, this nigga from the South, or that nigga from Detroit, or that nigga's from the West. With ASAP, Shit, Detroit got more of a wave than them niggas. They, that, and that's what I'm saying. And they sound like Detroit niggas. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, with the whole ASAP thing, it was like, you know, yeah, he's cool. He's a breath, he's a breath of fresh air and all this. But he sound like he's from all over the place. Nothing's wrong with that. But at the end of the day, like, to be a stable, you got to have an original sound. You know what I'm saying? So, like, even with New York, like, right now, it's like, it's heavy drill influence. That's not an original New York. That's not an original New York like, like wave. Like the only people like you know, 
I don't know, man. I, like, I hate to be like the, you know, real rap. Like, I hate saying shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, like, you know, it's really not nobody. Like, I can't say that it's not. Like, they they, they are there. It's just it's just who's who's going to get behind them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got Griselda out, but they, they don't really rep New York. They rep Buffalo. Like, you got Griselda. You got mm, who yeah. else? Like, who else, like, really in that type of class, like, in New York right now? Like, well, that's not an OG. You got Dave, you got. I said you just got Dave Cardi, Joey uh, Joey Pop. Badass. I don't do, Joey, but he's been quiet. Yeah, he's been quiet. Um, it's like you know, A Boogie. Yeah, A Boogie. But it's like who else? Like you know, what I'm saying like what's who's gonna be that person? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be hard press. It's gonna be hard press, but we'll definitely see. 2020 is gonna be a big year for music. I think a lot of releases this year. Um. Your boy dropped, man. How you think about that? Tia yeah. was in a frenzy, man. Yeah, Tia, I mean, uh, Lil Uzi finally dropped Eternal a tape. Um, it was a surprise release. Um, it was funny, like classic. Um, classic. <laughs> he said it was a classic on the Tia. That's why I asked. I'm not really now, a big Uzi I see, fan. I saw a lot of people saying it's a classic too. It's a very, very good album. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some time before I, before I put the classic label on it. He do got a classic though. Um. What is his classic? I would say the first Love Is Rage is a classic. That's a classic album. The one that got Safe House. They got a uh, what else on there? Uh, Seven AM, Lamborghini Dreams, Lamborghini Dreams. I'm sorry with Young Thug. Um, I even see him too teasing about new music, music with Future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's going. He said he's going to probably drop a, the um, the deluxe version of the album this week coming up. So love is rage is what twenty sixteen fifteen. Yeah. Um. I don't know, man. I, I like. I like. You know, I'm a I'm a Uzi fan, so I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was funny. Like when he dropped when that surprise yeah. drop, and everybody was already like you know digging into the Megan album. It was like, man, I ain't really feeling this shit. And once that shit dropped, there was no more See, Megan. This is this is this is what I was talking about last week. Like, I mean, I I fuck with Kodak, but no. When Uzi dropped, that shit was like it, it shut down shit. Yeah, it it shut, shit, it shut, shit. He's shit. not doing like, that. He's not that doing. I was trying to explain the Dale and, and Marcus. Then, and I fuck <laughs> like you notice. I'm a I'm a Kodak fan. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. But he ain't doing that type of shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like he cool, but he ain't that cool. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like. It ain't really nothing against Kodak. Like, like I said, like I fuck with Kodak, but like I said, like when we was already talking about the Megan album, then boom, oh, Eternal what takes out. That Megan shit was done. Nobody's been talking about that no more. You know what I'm saying? And now Megan shit kind of. I mean, her fans still listen to whatever they they took from it, but that shit probably will get lost in the sauce. <laughs> so it's like you know. I, I just saw everything trending. He had different. Words trending, yeah, for like his it was, album, like, it was different shit trending, like yeah. That Megan shit gonna get lost in the sauce. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a Uzi fan, you. So, but I, I know what type of reception he gets. Like, I think it's a superstar, man. Like when we was doing the tear shit and we was, it was trying to argue back and forth about Kodak and Uzi. I'm like, it's not even comparable. Like, it's not like if we just talking about rap. You, that's different. But we was talking about overall, like. Like who, Uzi, who, 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 what artist does he collab with the best? What, like when he collab with somebody, what, what, who gives the best music? Mm. Him and Thug make good songs. Him and uh, I'm not really a fan of it, but they, a lot of people like they like uh, whenever him and Cardi do songs together. Him and Playboy Cardi. Nah, we didn't even talk about that nigga. Who Playboy Cardi? Yeah, he, that's he the been, one who was dating uh, Iggy. Iggy. He been quiet too though. I don't know why I get him and Rich the Kid mixed up. No, <laughs> real shit. I always get them too confused, like face wise. I'd be like, is that Rich or is that Playboy? No, nah, I don't really listen to neither one like that. So yeah, it's funny because Rich the Kid and, and Lil Uzi had beef. They, they had beef with each other. They fought. What was that last year? Yeah, I saw a little shit on the yeah. when they was going outside the corner store or something like that. Yeah, then it was in they was on a Starbucks. This nigga had Rich the Kid behind the counter making so making, Playboy, Playboy, and making Uzi is cool though. <laughs> yeah, they 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 were cool. They kind of fell out because oh. everybody was asking like why uh 
they was asking Uzi, they was like, why Cardi not on the album? And he was like, I don't know who that is. I was like, oh, oh. shit. Damn. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess they they always, they they had a history of like falling out and then being cool. Again, Are they so. like on the same tier, like Playboy Cardi and no. Rich the Kid? No. No. Playboy's higher than Rich? Playboy higher than Rich? Personally, I'm listening to more Rich the Kid than, Play, than Playboy. Uh, but overall, oh, okay. he got more. He got more of a wave than than Rich. Neither one of them niggas fucking with Uzi though. But yeah, if that's a, if that's how we had to do it. Yeah, that's um, crazy. Uzi from Philly too, right? Yeah, he from Philly. And boy, them boys saying that man the king of Philly, man. They don't they ain't, they ain't feeling that meek shit, man. He might be. I <laughs> said that man the king of Philly, bro. He might be. But um, I think Meek fuck with Uzi though. No, he do. Meek, you really cool. fuck with anybody out of Philly though. Yeah, they cool. They cool people's. Um, yeah. I mean, overall, I get an Uzi album. Um, uh, like I said, like I, like when people were saying it's a classic, like you know, I want to get on the hype and be like, yeah, this was a classic. That was like my first time listening to it. It's better than so much fun. Mm. Damn, that's a good question. Cause I still listen to so much fun too, bro. That so, might be Thug Best Project. Man. That's Thug, yeah. That's Thug Best Project, <laughs> like be his, his best, best album. Like I don't know, Bar to Six is. I don't know. I go back and forth, and I'm a big fan of Slime Season Two. So, mm. so nah, much. That fun. shit ain't better than ain't so, better so much fun. fun. Oh, okay. Ain't better than so much. So much fun got some bangers on there, bro. But this shit got some straight through. This shit got some bangers on there too. But you gotta be like, all right, like with Uzi, like you gonna get. You gonna get your turn up shit, and then you know he get on his pop mode, and then he'll bring it back. So like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be expecting that curveball. And you also gotta want to listen to that from him. So it's like if you can get through that, and as you're a fan of that, then cool. Like you know that's all up your alley. Like, but with thug shit, like you said, like so much fun, front to back, that shit ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he he did a good job even coming into the album, like with the London track, like. Him and him and Cole, like I still say this to this day, like that's one of my favorite collabs from last year. Like they energy and they flow together, like that was a really good song that they dropped last year. Like even with, Cole and Thug? with uh with the London. Oh, the London. Okay. Yeah, that was a really good. That was a really good single. Like to go into an album with, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. So much fun. That was a really good album. Like I I can't I can't put nothing above that right now, especially an album that just came out. I feel it. I feel it. You think he gonna give us the deluxe? Oh yeah, that deluxe coming soon. That deluxe coming soon. Might be this week. Might be week after. But that deluxe coming soon. I see Kendrick dropped a little, uh, little video snippet. So I guess the album. Answer your question from a couple weeks ago. I guess he is dropping. Yeah, album. album coming because he he that uh that was supposed to that was supposed to usher in like because I think he's doing like a creative program. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw so, that. I saw that. So I he, guess yeah, that shit trending. So I guess that is going. That Boogie Man about to drop. I guess <laughs> he the boogeyman. The boogeyman about to drop, <laughs> y'all. Nobody's gonna be a whole bunch of you don't want to rap with this nigga tweets. Candyman, bro. You say his name, he appear. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, I fuck with Kendrick, but yeah. Just keep on level with everybody you else. You ain't giving him that. Like, he's not. No, he's not on some. No. <laughs> I don't want to do that rant again. It wasn't really a rant, you know. I just feel like you know nah, he can you can rap stay, with you anybody. Stay, yeah, you yeah. stay in your truth. You stay in your truth. I but he know. is better than a lot of niggas. He a top tier no, nigga yeah, for a reason. Yeah. But ain't somebody be like, oh no, he just washing and no, nah, because no, no, no. because like when, but he had. I mean, like dog, like it, it, and niggas really try to tell me to Pippa Butterfly is a classic. Like nah, no, it's not. Nah, it's a good album, but not, no, a, it's classic. not a classic. His last two albums wasn't classics. He has two classics. And oh, somebody Section told me 80. Damn was a classic too. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a classic. It's not a classic. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, no, nah, a lot of people was trying to tell me like Damn was a classic. I'm like, how? Like, no, it's not. Know. It's a good album, but it's not a classic. We only did he only drop like the loyalty song on that album like as a single? single. No, loyalty. No, loyalty and um. And humble. Yeah, humble. Nah. <laughs> Everybody say Yuck Mouth is like one of the greatest rap stories ever. On down, the last track. Yeah. No, but yeah, they try to say everything Kendrick dropped. They swear his only classics are Session Eighty and uh, Good Kid, Mad City. And Good Kid, Mad City, I said arguably the best album, arguably the best album of the decade. 
But as far as that other stuff, I think that's what did it though. Hold it might have been that album. the decade. I the said decade. arguably, it's not better than My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. It would be. It would. It be would be Kanye top three. Then that, like, yeah, it'd be top two, top two, top three. It's probably you got to throw two. a Drake album in there for it's that two. top three to it's run two. that top three out. I put two for the decade. Yeah, I will put two. I wouldn't argue that. So yeah, he boogeyman dropping. So I'm a, I'm definitely interested to see how Twitter gonna be when that shit drop. <laughs> I think it called that'd be my Boogie first time Man. on Twitter when Kendrick dropping. So I really get to see the thing pieces then. Mm. There's gonna be some thing pieces. Oh yeah, they always do that with the. Oh, that's you, why I want all three of them to drop this year, so we can all judge them, like in the same year. Cold Drink and um, yeah. Kendrick. Mm-hmm. That will kind of be like the like like how the Migos did their albums. We we kind of picked the best one out of them. That'll be fun. Did you say Takeoff had the best album? No, nah, Offset had the best album, hands down. Had the biggest single out of all of them. Had the most commercial success out of all of Is them. Is that the one when he was on the cover with his kids, or he yeah, had one before? Father that? Four. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a good album. That's the one that had Cole on it. Then he had that track with uh, Cardi on there, too? Yeah, Clout. That's, Clout. That was the biggest song out of all those albums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I'd be interested to see how that shit going to be. It's going to be a good year, man. I wonder if Travis going to drop this year, too. It's crazy to think. Outro World came out 2018. We going on two years? That was 2018? Yes, sir. August. Nah, bro. It was. It was August. I'm telling you, bro. A lot of shit coming up on two years that we wouldn't think. But yeah, that was 28. That should feel like last year. It bro. do feel like last year, but it wasn't. It was 2018. Cause that was when Nikki had that little rant, and she was talking about the. You his, right? Cause she dropped. She dropped. She dropped uh, Queen. Queen. Yeah, and she tried right. to top him in damn, sales, and it was, wasn't happening. God yep. damn, bro! And mm-hmm. then Khaled dropped after that. He was like, uh. He sold more than Nicki too, right? With the bundles. He was, yeah, he was complaining. Yeah, he still was complaining though, cause he didn't get the. Uh, it was something happening, and Travis got it instead of him. Uh, his album washing. Both yeah, like, of is easy. I was like, bro, like, like, what y'all that shit is a classic. Like, Astro World is a classic. Yeah, it is. It is. That shit is a classic. Is. So off top, that shit that shit came in as a classic. I don't think people understand what he did with that album. Like this man was able to get Stevie for the harmonica on tracks. He was able to get Earth Wind and Fire. For some vocals, like he really put in some work. Did you see his doc yeah, on Netflix? No. That was a good fucking doc, man. Maybe. This is go behind the scenes and see like how much work he put into that album. That was a good fucking album. And to think it's coming up on two years, that's crazy. But yeah, he I might be dropping another project. I didn't know that was two years. That bro. was that's, two years ago. That's crazy, bro. Shout out Travis, man. My dog out here copping all the all the rare Air Forces, man. You doing what you supposed to do with that night? How you feel bag, about the man? SBs? SBs is nasty. I wanted them shit, but you know, this online shit is is critical these days, man. Like, yeah, I think APB getting them. Nah, APB didn't get them. Continuum had them, and they did a raffle. And um, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of controversy I around that. Ra- did the release already happen? That was twenty. It was the 29th. It, was, it came out last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Continuum had them. They did a, a raffle when you. If, I'm not an SB fan, but I do like the concept of that SB. They had the because uh, the strings kind of look like some ropes, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, that ain't the first time the SB did some shit like that though with the strings. But he, well, Travis, like I'll say this though, like I can tell he he learned a lot about the culture. Like I'll say this, like he's not an OG, like you know, like how we would consider ourselves, but. When he got in, he got the right people around him to put him on the game, uh, like uh, uh, you know the qualities and all this other shit. But he did do a lot of the research on his own. So like I, I can't say bro a hype beast or nothing like that. Like you know he doing, he definitely killed with that six, the yeah, one. Yeah, he, like he a lot of his shit thing, I don't like, like. But the forces, the, like, he, he been, lately he ain't missing. He did this thing on the forces. He got an Air Max about to come out. They saying he gonna do another six, another one, like. The nigga taking off with his collabs, bro. Like, I can't really, you know, can't really knock him, man. He doing his thing. So, like I said, man, shout out to Travis, man. He, this nigga posted the uh, the PS2 forces. I ain't seen them in a while. Yeah, PS2 the, forces came out what? That was like that was like 05, 05 bro. Like, I like, definitely was about to say 05, that was like 05, 05, 05 06. Like, that was like 05. Like, yeah, like 05, 06. I remember... I remember me and Dolo was looking at them shit. Red, and uh, Kobe Bryant had them shit. Like it was like, damn, them shit hard, bro. So, you know, PlayStation Two came out twenty years ago. Yeah. On the March third or fourth or something like that. March fourth, two thousand. That shit is crazy. And I remember because I was in third grade. And was it you? Show it was March. It was March. I think it was March fourth, two thousand. Go because I I probably I didn't get mine until that holiday season. But I never I had, had it, a though. PS Two. 
I had to get that. I had a uh, PlayStation One. Not the PlayStation One, but the PS One. The, the smaller one. So yeah, the smaller one yeah. that came out. Yeah, yeah, I had that one. I had the OG uh, PlayStation. Yeah. Had the the PS One. I had that too. Because remember, you had two versions of the PS One. Yeah. You had the PS One, the small one. Then you had the one with the screen. Yeah. It had its own screen. I didn't have the one with the screen. No, I don't need that one with the screen. Yeah. I had the the smaller one. I had that and the Dreamcast at the same time. When PS Two came out, it had the PS Two that holiday, and I just been PlayStation until Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty came out. Cause I didn't go with the PS Three, mm. and then. Yeah, I had GameCube, PlayStation yeah. Three, and now I just got I got I got PS Three, PS. Yeah, uh, PS. I don't even have a system. Damn, bro, I ain't play a system in a minute, bro. I'm trying to tell you, I be using that shit just to watch DVDs and shit, and then that shit kind of like getting faulty now. So I got to invest in the new. I might as well wait till the five come out. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm not buying nothing else till the PS Five come out. I got a PS Four and an Xbox One, but. I don't hardly play um, my P neither one of them shit. But shout out, shout out to Travis, man. He be killing with his. I still want the Travis Scott six. I still want the one, but I'm not about to pay that. I've been looking at prices on StockX last night. Them shits a rack off top, like easy, easy. <laughs> I ain't paying that for some Jays, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I'll catch them when I catch them. Now, if we coming to a little, you know, a little revolt, or you know, a little. Oh, a little Spotify, a little, little Spotify revolt. bag, and they give us a wardrobe, you know, a little, title, little, little title bag, you know, a wardrobe budget. Then you know, huh? we, you know, me and Mike going, we going to Flight Club off top, bro. So. Title Spotify, <laughs> you know, you already you know, know Thomas Barstool. You know, you know we holla at us, man. You know, you know me, Mike and Drew. We have been, you know, my dog Drew just was, my dog Drew is looking for some for some vintage heat himself. So, you know, yes. Yeah, you know, if you know, think bro. about it though, it's a lot of money getting handed out in this podcast it's world. A lot man. of money, man. You guys got fat. Why everybody you see that was talking? Uh, Bill Simmons got <laughs> yeah with the and range. he got thirty podcasts under his network, dog. That is just fucking crazy, bro. Like he thought he started that shit on his own. The Ringer, they gave that man two fifty m's. He took he he bet on himself though. Thirty podcasts. Then he, give, he got fired from the ESPN, right? And he started. The or they had like a mutual agreement. Yeah, they had so a mutual agreement. Some shit like that, yeah. But he bet on himself. Yeah, he still, like, did. So you know, shout, shout out to Bill Simmons. Simmons man. But it's some money in this podcast world, bro. Hey man, hey man. I know we can get shit jumping, bro. Facts. It's coming. We got some good shit, man. We ain't tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll be there in a minute. Yeah. But hey man, how you feel about this this new situation with the baby, man? He, it's a video of him. <laughs> Him striking a young lady, oh, you know this. I really didn't want to talk about that. Yeah, shit, I, don't, I, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just, it's a repetitive thing. It's with a this. repetitive thing with dudes, and it's so kind of like, know. it's kind of like, bro, like, like we get it, bro. Like you don't, you're tough, all right. Like you don't gotta, you don't gotta do all this macho shit all the time, bro. It's kind of corny, like when I, when I really, when I really get into it, like it's kind of corny, like, all right, you beat this nigga ass in Walmart. Okay, that was kind of granted. You was defending yourself in Walmart, and uh, I mean, you beat that nigga ass in the mall. You caught a body at the Walmart, kind of granted. Beat the you dude know. ass in the hotel for recording you and your daughter. Granted, because you know mm. shit going down out here, you can't just be releasing people. The baby's too good of a rapper to be getting. Yeah, it's like every time, shit, no, it's like all right, every time that we hear about you, like where people like really like in an outrage about you, you putting your hands on somebody, bro. So it's like. Are we going to start talking about that more more than we talk about your music? Because mm-hmm. we ain't talking we ain't talking about that Kurt album like that. There ain't really been no buzz around that album besides. Nah, not Kurt. Mm-mm. It really wasn't. So it's like, are we? What we what we talking about you like as far as like your brand goes? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. She just kind of kind of I don't know. It's kind of goofy to me, man. You just need to get up. You just you just continue to make good music, man. That's all I can say. He's on the Interscope, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised him and Eminem don't got a song yet. <laughs> y'all, hey, y'all have me crying laughing when, y'all, when we first found that nigga signed the Interscope. I was yeah. like, yeah, that Eminem feature definitely. <laughs> <with the baby." laughs> y'all funny niggas, man. Like, y'all was like, niggas hey. don't want that. Hey, I'll, that would probably be like one of the funniest songs like ever. Like, because <laughs> you, 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 you know he's king of rapping off subject. Yeah. Who, uh, Eminem? Hell yeah. He got Eminem, to do gonna, Eminem gonna hop on a song with the baby rapping about damn psychiatry visits and shit. Like, 
Y'all seen that, that like open spleens and shit? Yeah, like <laughs> turkey neck. You see that trunk. challenge shit? Yeah, like, I was about to ask the Godzilla challenge. I haven't seen nobody contribute to that challenge, and I'm happy for that. I've only seen white people contribute to that challenge. I haven't even when I say whenever I see the hashtag, I be wanting to click on that shit to see if anybody. Nobody's about to try to do that shit, dog. Get that shit out of here. Nobody want to. It's rap. only going to be niggas that rap like him do that, which are like white people Twisted. that. Twisted one? <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's the only niggas who go rap like. Him. Nah, like I I got more respect than Twisted than that. Like I don't think Twisted gonna do that, man. Like shout out to Twisted, bro, but. That Godzilla shit had me fucking Get laughing, out of here. bro. Like when I that beat, that beat alone, like come on, bro. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. This nigga's goat now. Like when I beat, when I talk about, oh, he's a lot of niggas goats. Like this nigga's been trash longer than he's been hot now. So like, <laughs> what are we talking about? You feel me? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you gotta get this shit out of here, man. I don't want to hear no more Eminem music, man. That's it. Just hang it up. I don't want to hear no more Marshall Mathers and none of that. Like, the drop-off is getting ridiculous now. It's been ridiculous, though. Like, at least, this is at least three to four years, five, probably five in the making. If that, like, this is terrible. Like, we don't want, we don't want no more Eminem music, bro. Like, let other Detroit rappers uh, blossom, man. That's all I got to say. Did you see that thing where uh where uh Royce the five nine he had an interview and he was saying he told Eminem not to do a song with T Grizzly? He told him not to do a song with T Grizzly because he wanted T Grizzly to get the credit. Like he he had a song already take off, but he wanted him to get another one take off by himself before M get on the track with him because he didn't want it to be like, oh, Eminem put T Grizzly on. That's what he said. I get what Royce was saying. T took it the other way though. He he felt some type of way about that. He felt like it was holding him back. He was like, damn, you gonna tell dog not to do a song with me? Like type of shit that we on thought we looked out for each other. But Royce reasoning was like he didn't want M to get the credit for T taking off. Nah, I wouldn't really look at like niggas knew who T was before the Eminem song came. I would say he he looking at it from a different perspective, so I don't know. He felt like he only had like one track that really took off. So you feel like let him get another one before you hop on a track with him because I don't want you to like take credit. People be saying, "Oh well, he didn't blow up until M got on the track with him and shit like that." It's like let him get another hit before you do one with him. Like I get it, but I don't think it was nothing that I don't um, think Royce meant no malice behind it. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I listened to his album too. It wasn't that bad. To Royce album, you yeah. listen to Jada Kiss album. That's who else dropped the album too. Yeah, I dropped, yeah, I listened to his album. His album was pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I gotta check. I like that hunting season with him and Pusher. That was good. Yeah, how was that song? I heard. I didn't hear that song yet. That song is good. He threw a couple shots at the boy. You know. <laughs> what do you? Mm-hmm. What do you? What do you think? I, I Adidas hear. line. He had Adidas line in there, and then he had a he had a line about a billion streams versus a billion fiends. Now we even. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, hey, niggas is still talking about this shit, so, mm. hey, I don't know. I don't know. But it, overall, it was a good album, though. I fuck with Jada Kiss. Right. It's a good album. He said this was kind of like his, uh, you know, good way to, I don't know if it's going to be his last album. He made it sound like it was his last album, but it was a good way to go out. I fuck with it. Some good shit. A billion streams versus a billion fiends. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's that's a, that's a lot of weight on that. Uh, what's next, man? Hey, here come push it with the Moira report. Push the teeth out the else, mess. <laughs> that was hilarious when that nigga said that. Well, Mez would not let that go, boy. That shit was funny. That nigga said, "Here come push it with the Mori report." Mez was too hurt. Anyway, man, how you? F- how you feel about the coronavirus outrage, man? What's going on, they man? They say they're going to play games with no fans. LeBron said That'd be ain't. dope. LeBron said he ain't playing. That's cap. That's big cap. He's definitely playing. Like, I ain't trying to hear that. The people going to get on the phone. Stop LeBron, it, nigga. LeBron, you LeBron definitely LeBron. going to be there. And we we in crunch time in the playoffs? Nigga, you playing. Hey, you I, playing. I, hey, a few Lakers fans told me. This is just what some Lakers fans told me. They telling me that since, you know, they done clinched their playoff spot, First playoff spot since 2013. That's crazy. That uh, seven years. You know, 
They gonna start wrestling. They gonna start wrestling LeBron. I don't want to hear it because That's if going. they start wrestling and they go into the playoffs, oh, they should have been playing. They've been sitting down for a long. You already know it's coming, so nah, I want to hear. They it. got they got Dion now. They gonna start integrating Dion, give him some give him some burn so he can be you know playoff ready. You know, it's a lot being said. So you know, even let's get back to coronavirus. So we can get we can get on sports later. But <laughs> but with the whole coronavirus shit, man, like. Do you think it's you buying or selling the shit, man? Is it more cap than fiction to you? I just feel I don't like how they report it more on the deaths than they are the survivors. It's been over like fourteen thousand people who have gotten the disease and survived it. Like that's what I don't like because when I go on Twitter and I go even under the for you tab, like right. at the top where they show the graphic, that's always the number one graphic, like the coronavirus update, and they're literally keeping a stat check on this shit. And it's like y'all not talking about the survivors, y'all only talking about the the, the deaths and cases. Well, you know, that's... I don't like that shit. You know, we in a fear-mongering like, era. So. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is. Yeah. And I feel like that's... It's contributing to it. Now, being that it's a new strand of what I think is a flu, because when you look at the symptoms, that's all it is, is the flu. Yeah, the rate of uh, people dying at it might be at a high within the coronavirus, mm-hmm. but there's still people dying at a higher rate of the flu every year, and nobody say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, all you could do for the flu is just get the shot. Because it technically... You know, all, the, the flu shot is the flu. Yeah. It's basically just determines how strong your immune system is like how your immune system is going to react to this type of remember how everything took off when the swine came out yeah. you know it's the bird new, it's, a, it's, a it's a new, new strain every time bro yeah like, my but like this shit here is like really like they even had a report about steph curry like he checked out for the flu it wasn't the corona i'm like come on man like what are we talking about Niggas get the flu all the time. Who was that that said give everybody corona and whoever? It was some nigga said we should treat it like chicken pox and just give everybody the shit and then whoever whoever will deal with the with the law. Man, I don't see niggas get that shit no more. I thought Boosie was tripping when he did that video a few years back, but he was right because I don't see that shit no more. Shit, he asked that. That was last year when he said that. I don't see little kids get that shit. Usually little kids get it. I ain't seen no kids have the chicken pox in years. I had chicken pox as a baby. I had that shit in 96, 97. But, like, you right. Like, are they, like, are they new cases of chicken pox? Like, I don't be hearing about I don't about be hearing about no chicken more, pox bro. no more, like, bro. But, you know, better coronavirus, man. Like, niggas was wilding for one. Like, they telling y'all that this shit is, you know, keep your hands clean. Okay, cool. Why are y'all buying all the hand sanitizer and not the soap? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You gotta wash your hands before anything, cause you be touching your face, touching your eyes. Why are y'all buying all the hand sanitizer and not the soap? Yeah, and I got me a little thing of hand sanitizer at the house, but I had that before this shit right. took off. I mean, everybody, grand, you just everybody, can't hand sanitize your hands. You gotta wash. You gotta wash, wash your hands, yeah. bro. Like you gotta wash your hands. Like it's crazy that you know we gotta tell grown folks this shit. You know, I'm not even gonna make it a race thing, but like just grown people. Period. Like. Wash your hands, bro. Like, it's not, it's, you know, you ain't got to rush to get out the bathroom, bro. Wash your hands. You got to watch how people, uh, you know, just, I'm always worried about people when they come to handshakes and interact with, with like, people in public anyway. Because motherfuckers is nasty. People uh, go in the restaurants, you know, take a shit, don't wash their hands, <laughs> leave straight out, bypass the sink, like, Touching their balls and shit, shaking your hands. So you never know, man. You just got to be... People just nasty in general. Hey, bypass the sink is crazy. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> hey, they not with you right, sink. though. You right, mm-hmm. man. Niggas is wild on out here, man. Like, like, nah, you definitely right. Like, <laughs> I got some stories, bro, but it's still, like, that shit crazy. Like, how people... Right, just, somebody at my job, he sneezed the other day. I'm like, bro, so you just not going to wash your hands? He like, just, just sneezed the sneeze in his moving. hands, keep it moving. Like, bro, you not going to wash your hands? I'm, we not doing that. <laughs> I can see you. I can see you. You probably... Your whole move probably switched, like, right? Like, hey, bro. you already bro, know like, how I get down. Like, bro, like, like come, come on. Like, come on, dog. Like, <laughs> you wallet. We not doing that. And you can touch in the machine and shit, bro. I got to touch the machine. Why, like, bro, no. Like, why are you sneezing in a workplace and not, you know, handling Sneeze that? Sneeze like this, bro. Don't sneeze in your fucking hand. Like, you tripping. <laughs> you hollering, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Nigga sneezing his hand and kept it moving, though. Like, yeah. Like, I don't take no chances with that shit. Like, I already do a pretty good job of, like, taking care of myself. But I don't take no chances. Like, the human body is still... Fragile at the end of the yeah. day, you see what I'm saying? Like my immune system pretty strong. Like I've sure. been around like some people like who be sick and I don't really get it, but still at the end of the day, like 
that don't give you a pass to just be sneaking. Yeah, like, like that's, hey, that's that's wild. I'm like, that's wild. Shout out to all the teachers, man. That's why I be thinking about the most in these situations because they they kind of like ain't on, those kids about to be sneezing on my face, bro. They kind of ground zero with this is. shit. Like you know, kids kids reckless with shit like that. So like they kind of ground zero. Like you know, they they first contact if if they if some shit was going around within the kids. Like so, they be the first in my thoughts. So. I don't know, man. Only thing you tell is make sure y'all stay on them kids, man. Hey, to be honest with you, bro, if a kid sneeze on a teacher like in their face, he did that shit on purpose, bro. <laughs> like real shit. When I go back and think about second grade, third grade, fourth grade, like I dog, you know when a sneeze coming, but you ain't about to just like in your teacher face, bro. I've never I've never even thought about like, doing come that. On, dog. Like you like think about that shit, bro. Like you at that age, you know what you're doing. Just a sneeze on it. Like I think t- uh, I would never think the sneeze in my teacher face. That's disrespectful. No, nah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do like, that. come on, dog. Like, no, we ain't doing that. Mm-mm. But I think with this shit here, if they do an NBA game with no uh, with no fans, I want to see how that shit be. That shit going to be like a ghost town. It ain't going to be no Remember noise. Remember that baseball game they played in Baltimore when uh-huh. they had on Baltimore rides with no fans? Yeah. Dog said that shit was kind of weird. I think that shit would be dope, though. How the, the broadcast gonna be like funny for one? Cause it's like nobody's gonna be there. Like you're gonna have the refs. Bang! You gonna have the Mike ball Green boys. still might be giving it one hundred, man. You never know. He go. It's gonna probably be an echo because it's not. Gonna I don't be- want it to be with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy though, because they're gonna be corny with the shit. Right. Well, there's nobody here. <laughs> huh? Well, at least them boys can hear them boys talking shit. Mark Jackson be wilding on his broadcast, bro. He do? The other night, no more him and uh, Jeff Van Gundy was talking about whole discography and his street credibility and shit like that. I'm like, bro, talk about the oh, game, Oh, yeah, he fam. was talking about that. I was like, bro, what are y'all doing, what man? Are y'all like, about, what are y'all man? doing? No. What are y'all doing, man? But, yeah. This coronavirus, uh, just people out here, just wash your hands, man. Be safe. You know? Wash certain objects. I got wipes at the house regardless. So, even when I come, when I come from out the house, coming back in, uh, you know, I stay on top of my shit. You think niggas I take Biden. Well, I take biotin, but biotin also helps with uh, you know, energy boost immune system. Yeah, that's immune like system your hair and nails and shit too. Yeah, but it helped with that shit too. Yeah. So you know, people, if you want to get on some vitamins, you know, look at look up some multivitamins that yeah, you want to take. Biotin. We 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 think about these. We we think niggas who are out here wearing these masks and shit. You think they're kind of ODing on the mask ain't really preventing it though. That's what they say. Like yeah, the said, mask, main thing is your your hands. The the the. I saw a, um, a scientist tweet. There was like most of the the masks are created to catch um, bacteria. That's one size, and the mask. Um, was, that mean the the bacteria for coronavirus was way smaller than that. So, like even if you wear the mask, you still can inhale the shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, the mask is just for fashion at this point. So. I see the girls like who be going on their flights and shit. They got the old. I saw Alexis Sky on the, on the flight with the mask. I saw uh, this shit got all bedazzled and shit. I'm like, y'all, like <laughs> this shit is so jokey. Yeah. <laughs> like y'all, like, people got a bedazzled up mask and shit. <laughs> like why y'all, why y'all put them rhinestones on that on that three M mask on, like man. that? Come on, man, what we doing? Hey, somebody say you need all you need your real mask would be the uh the towels you get from the nurse office at school. Y'all remember them towels, them napkins, them hand towels, them brown yeah. shit. Hey, them shit been so them shit been so thick. Remember, like if you was like, hey, I got a headache and they give you some ice, you couldn't even feel the ice through them motherfuckers, <laughs> bro. Like when I thought I was like, yeah, them them shit is durable, bro. Like to say they been paper, like. <laughs> Them shit was terrible. Now, now I think about it, the school nurse was so trash, bro. Very trash. All they gave you was shit that you could have got at home, bro. Peppermint like, water. <laughs> peppermint and water for a sore throat. I know. <laughs> I don't need that. Give me some cough drops. Give me bro. some lozenges or something, bro. Like, what the it's fuck? weak shit. That's why I hate peppermint. That's main reason why I don't, fuck, I don't fuck with nothing mint. Mint and chocolate is the worst invention ever. Whoever came up with that idea is trash. Super so, trash. You're not fucking with them mints? No. No. Nothing mint. Mint does something to my stomach though, so like, like it, it. How can I explain it? It's kind of like it, it boosts like my hunger and shit. And then it just makes me feel weird. So like, I don't never fuck with mint. Period. I do not fuck with mint. Uh, that shit started me taking rumple mint shots early. 
Mm-mm. That, that and uh, what's the other one? Fireball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I got somebody bought me a bottle of Fireball for my birthday one year. And I was looking at shit like, bro, what are we supposed to mix this shit with? I was Googling, like, drinks with for, for Fireball. Only thing I found was, was orange juice. And that shit was good with orange juice. I ain't going to lie. But uh, shout out shout out Fireball. I never had that. That shit is like, it's, it's minty. See, I don't want no minty ass alcohol, man. The cinnamon shit was doing too much to, to begin with, but that shit like big red. Yeah, fireballs liquid like liquid gum, like it really is. Yeah, I niggas be drinking that shit. That's wild. Somebody bought me a bottle for my birthday. I wasn't trying to waste it. It was just it was sitting on top of my refrigerator. I was like, let me just go ahead and make me a little a little drinky drink, man. <laughs> I, I it was it was like a breakfast drink, like a little brunch drink. So mm-hmm. it's called uh, I think it's called what the orange tic tac. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. I, yeah, that's exactly what that's called. Orange tic tacs are good though. So yeah. you don't like the shot then? No, because it got alcohol in it. Honestly, the fireball, like you're not really even gonna feel that shit unless we drink a whole bottle of that bitch, bro. Like, I mean, you still got alcohol in it. So. <laughs> I feel you, man. Mike, you. So I'm gonna always be on my little kid shit when it comes to alcohol, bro. It just is what it is. So hold on. So even when you get married, like you know, you're not even gonna take like a, a champagne toast. No. Not at all. Mm-mm. When I was at my uncle's wedding, and we was doing the toast. I had my water. <laughs> so your wedding, you're gonna have a, a, a glass of water where everybody got the champagne. Mm-hmm. Hey man, gotta keep it. You got you got stick to your guns, man. I feel you, bro. I'm mad at you. I don't be knocking nobody who want to do their thing. I just don't want to partake in it. It's just not my thing. I feel you. Yeah. Just like with the, you know, smoking, smoking weed. I'm an advocate for for weed, but I don't smoke it. Let's talk about that, man. What do do you think about the... uh the NFL CBA when they trying to bullshit. They trying to hey, we'll we'll let you guys smoke, but we're gonna continue to fuck y'all on the money in. Bullshit. Bullshit. I felt I would have felt insulted with that shit. Me too. Me too. It's like all these fucking now all of a sudden y'all want to throw this shit in here. Well, well how's God, how Josh Gordon feel about this shit? Martavis Bryant. Martavis Bryant. Plenty of people. <laughs> Ricky, 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 Ricky right. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky. Yeah, Ricky. Ricky Williams, bro. Like, like what this shit. Now y'all want to throw this shit in the CBA. Y'all not gonna suspend us for positive drug tests now? Come on, man. Stop it. That shit corny. I hey. hope they don't sign that shit. Hey, them people trying to get off on them NFL players, bro. Like that's yeah, that just, money ain't right. That shit kind of sickening man, when you think about it. Like then when the, do you want to throw in a seventeen game schedule on top of? Yeah. Like no, right. I'm yeah. not gonna. You're not gonna throw a seventeen game schedule and no one to revamp the bread. Uh, y'all niggas can smoke now though. <laughs> that's basically what it's saying. Like y'all nasty. Just, at least you, at least you niggas can get high all seventeen. Nasty, man. nasty. That's real nasty. That's disgusting. <laughs> shit is nasty, man. Oh, so what the what the seventeen game? The seventeen game schedule are they still gonna be playing preseason? Probably. So that's probably gonna be like. And what, they like 20? talking about expanding the playoffs. But I know Aaron Rodgers had a big Instagram post about that. Yeah, shit. he like, said he, he ain't, ain't fucking, fucking with, with that it. shit. Yeah. Like. He ain't fucking with it. And they the, they do for new CBA in the summer. That's why they're trying to get it done now. To avoid a possible lockout, right? Yeah, to avoid a possible lockout. Because mm. the CBA is up next summer, not this summer, but next summer. Because remember, he had the one in twenty eleven. You remember mm-hmm. that? Yeah, I remember. That. And they signed that bullshit then, but everybody was like out of work, trying to get paid, and they rushed to sign that shit. Ryan Clark told them, boy, don't sign that shit. So, I mean, it is what it is. But as far as like the weed shit, nah. Yeah, that's I thought that was laughable. I thought that was very funny. That's an insult. Like, yeah, it was. It was. Nah, nigga, let's get this money shit right first. Then we can talk about all the other shit. Like, because mm-hmm. y'all niggas is getting over hand and fist. Hey, so that purple weed I sent you yesterday, that's mid? Bro, that's that's like one of the oldest mids, bro. Like, do you remember when that purple mid was going around like a few years ago? <laughs> like, yeah, see, like, and me and Drew wasn't even hanging around each other like that, but Drew know, like, it was a good batch of purple mid. It was smoking now. It was smoking, but it's mid. It's still mid. At the end. Sure was <laughs> like, it was like it was still mid. Like, not nah, like not for nothing though. Like, all right, let me just say this. Like, not for nothing. Like, it has been good batches of mid. Like back in the day, like. I would never be like, hey, like all mid been trash. Like I actually had some fire mid back in the day. Like okay. niggas who really smoke, they they gonna attest to this. Like you ain't always had gas or or the loud shit back then. The loud was the loud was like almost unattainable with the price off top. Like <laughs> you was gonna pay at least twenty five to damn near thirty for some good loud. Like the loud was completely different back then. Like this weed that's that they saying is loud now. 
it's kind of like another level of mid grade. Like when you yeah. really think about it, like it's not the loud that was out back then. Like if you want real loud, you are gonna have to get that Zaza, like that shit that niggas smoking in Cali, like the real shit, like that top shelf shit. And that's still gonna be like twenty twenty five a gram. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> yeah, hey. that shit. It's it's crazy to see how prices have really changed throughout the years. And mid, I mean. Back in the day, you you get a gram of mid and have like a handful of weed. You go get a gram of loud, and you paying twenty five, thirty dollars for that getting gram. Getting a gram, and right. you're looking at this shit like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like it's a nugget, basically. That's it. Yeah, y'all niggas, y'all ain't gonna cap me down talking about y'all ain't been smoking no mid back then because right. it was. It was a good. It definitely mid, was. Like no, nah, like not even. No, like I'm not even going. Like I'm not even going to buy that from none of you niggas, bro. Yeah. Like y'all was smoking 2011, 2010, 2009. You niggas was smoking mid. 2008, y'all niggas was smoking mid, bro. Like I don't want to hear none of that shit, bro. The lot was out there, but that shit wasn't. Y'all wasn't smoking that shit every day. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Special occasions, yeah, special <laughs> occasions, bro. Like y'all, y'all already know what time it is. Like y'all ain't about to, you're not about to try to talk to me crazy, bro. Like I already know, I know what the fuck was going on. And then when people go on vacations, like you, you smoking, yeah, I know exactly what you're smoking, my Word, nigga. Like that you, is mid. Especially you go to Jamaica or something, you're not smoking loud over there. You're not. Like you're not gonna tell me, oh, I was, I was smoking we big smoking gas in Jamaica. Man, y'all smoking, y'all smoking with them niggas grow. Yeah. That's what you smoking. Yeah, island weed. We smoking <laughs> island weed. Like, we smoking what they grow. Like, you're not going to tell me you was over there smoking top shelf. Yeah. Unless I mean, you brought some over there. Or you in the hood hood. Like, yeah. yeah you, you in the trenches to get that shit. Yeah. Like, for, yeah, I'm saying, for one, you going in the trenches. Like, yeah, you got niggas when you get off the boat or whatever, they got it. But you, you for the most part, you still in the trenches. Like, <laughs> so y'all not telling me y'all going to these places and smoking good, man. Unless you, like... Amsterdam or Canada or some shit like that. Like, so, you know, the cap is real. <laughs> yeah, but the NBA is definitely trying to set these niggas up. Like, they, that's a setup to them. To me, I think it's a setup. Like, if, if they're going to allow people to smoke, they're still going to random drug test you, and that's still against the NBA policies. Is that correct? We talking about the NFL. I mean NFL, yeah. yeah. Nah, they said they ain't gonna suspend them. Oh, not okay. they not they they dropping the weed thing. Now performance enhancing drugs, they still yeah. they still penalizing right, right, for right. that. But the weed, they 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 gonna let that rock if they sign this new CBA, which I feel that's like how they, they should, trying to lure them in. Yeah, with that's it. how they trying to lure them to let them know like, hey, we'll let y'all smoke, but we still we know y'all smoke already. We ain't splitting these profits with y'all, right? Mm-hmm. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's kind of disrespectful. So very. That's disrespectful as fuck. Laval uh, Ball is back, boy. <laughs> Never lost. Hey, Lavar, man. Hey, man. Lamelo Ball, Lamelo Ball might be a Chicago Bull, man. Hey, how you feel about that? I don't know. This new draft process, you know, anything is bound to happen. Anything the Pelican shot happen. all the way up from eight to number one. So right now we like seven, seven six or something like that. Yeah. And with the new with the new percentages out, you never know how this shit might go. But I can see Laval Ball now if he comes to the Bull. Hey man, It'll be the saw, greatest Bull ever. I saw a tweet. There was like uh, there was like Lamelo. I mean, they say Zoe Ballin. Say Lamelo might be he gonna be a top draft pick. Um, the other brother, Leandro, he he on a D, he on a Thunder D League team. He can be called up. It's possible. And it was like it's BBB back. And I was like, that shit never went nowhere. Lavar just seen Lavar just fell back. Yeah, Lonzo you know just fell off that shit. That's what it was. Yeah, that's all it was. And man. they had that dispute with the dude who was yeah, the dude who was fucking with the bread. Yeah, like shit like that happens. Like I'm not gonna be like, hey, them niggas out of here. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know. But yeah, uh, so you think so you think it's possible for y'all to get mellow? Oh, if we have a top two pick, we get in mellow for sure. Right. We won't get Wiseman or Anthony Edwards. I wouldn't be mad at Anthony Edwards if they want to move forward with Kobe White at PG. But Melo is, I think Melo going to be better than Alonzo. But even LeVar said that. He said he was going to be the best out of all the boys. It's definitely kind of looking like he got the higher ceiling out of all and of them. And he's still growing. He he already 6'7". I think yeah, he might be 6'8", uh, 6'9". Yeah, they said 6'8". 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, six, I mean, that's not a knock at Zoe because Zoe, Zoe's a good, yeah. a good player. But but he, he looked, said that when he was a sophomore in high school. Yeah, like, he, he, he was going to be the saying. best. But it, it, it just looks like he got a more more of a ceiling than uh than the other two. Yeah. Um, only thing I would give him is Zoe played way better defense. But... um. He doing this thing out there in Australia, man. Yeah, he 
He playing with men. They ain't like he playing with, with boys. I ain't like, seen too much of that Wiseman cat, though. Yeah, because he sat out for... But, you know, either way, LeVar going to be like, my boy should go number one. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. yeah. He said they go, the jersey numbers is how they should have gone in the NBA draft. Mm-hmm. So he said Jello should have been three if he didn't get into that stuff in um, China. Yeah. But hey, they dropped the prices of their shoes. They're all reasonable price now. They're all five hundred dollars, and you ain't gotta wait ten months for them to come. They oh, they like still got the website up and shit. Mm-hmm. They're like one seventy nine, about two two hundred dollars. You know, so a pair of J's basically. Okay, okay. Lavar Ball, Lavar heavy trippy. He said, "Yeah, he ain't get that grown man body yet." <laughs> and that's because of their mom. You know, their mom white. <laughs> so. Oh, hey, we get out. Look at Shannon. Did, Shannon probably had his grown man body at 19, 1920. Yeah. Did y'all see what Skip Skip face when he said that? No, I, did. I was looking at the lady face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her face was sick. She looked sick. She was like. Hey, mm. you know what would have been hilarious? Like, as soon as he said it, it was like, okay, we're going to cut the commercial break. That would have had me crying. But you really, they really can't say nothing about it because at the end of the day, it's like, I mean, his wife is white. Like, yeah, he know, so. You already know he ain't on no shit. That like shit that. wild. It's, that it's shit wild to say that though. Like, it is yeah, wild. It's wild to say that. Like, but he been saying shit like that though. He be like, yeah, you know, these these uh, these other white players they slow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, he was saying that when uh when Lonzo was at UCLA. Remember mm-hmm. he was saying that? He was like, yeah, you know they got him playing with these some of these white people. They slow. Like, you know what I'm saying? They not they not fast like him. So it, it's gonna look different. But he been he been you know. LaVar's a trip, man. I fuck with LaVar, <laughs> man. I'm good to see him back in good spirits, man. Hey, man. Big, big far, man. Big ball of brand. Big ball. <laughs> if he is a bulldog, that'd be nasty, though. You copping that jersey off top? Oh, off top. All GP. Are you, why you ain't support your boy? Um, You got Levine jersey? No. I'm going to get one, though. I'm going to get Levine and Kobe. You gonna have to, but honestly, like I would hold off. Like you don't know Levine gonna be there. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what Levine gonna have going on yeah, yet. So. so they got to get a new coach first of all. So you think he he out of the summertime? Uh, he's still on you the know contract. the Nets. The Nets is they, they just fired their coach, so he would have to get traded. He's still on the contract. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all coach though. Oh yeah, he gotta go. He out of the summertime. Yeah, Jim Boylan gotta go. Yeah, he should be already fired. I don't know why he's still there. Yeah, how the Nets fire their coach for y'all fire y'all coach? Yeah, this shit is wild. They even talk about Kyrie might have had to talk about the Kyrie. That's funny. The fact that's a thing is funny. The Kyrie. The Kyrie effect. I knew that shit was going to run. Yeah, you know it. But you already know what's going to happen. They win a championship. Kyrie ain't going to get no credit for that bitch. Not a lick because it's going to be like, oh, you had KD. Same way they did Kobe with Shaq. Same way. I see it coming. If they win a championship, it's going to be, oh, you had KD. You didn't do it off the strength of yourself. I mean... I feel like the only way people would say that is if it's visibly, if it's visible that he got carried. Like even when he when they won in twenty sixteen, like that man did his thing. Like it wasn't like a, oh you you got LeBron carried you. Y'all were a good match together. Kyrie's a motherfucker, man. Yeah, like he is. Kyrie's a motherfucker. That's why I say he's string a bell, man. He is. <laughs> he is. Like. Without a doubt, that nigga Stringer Bell. They tried to say LeBron Stringer Bell. I was like, nah, he's nah, he's not Stringer Bell. That was crazy. They had this uh, thing that was trending. I guess I don't know what Twitter page that was. Some NBA page, and they was comparing uh, NBA players to the wide characters. And they had Braun Stringer Bell. They had Giannis Marlowe. They had Russ Bodie. Uh, they had Chris Paul uh, McNulty. No. So I ended up doing a thread. Uh, comparing NBA players to uh, to the wide characters. Let me see. Let me go back and see what I had on there. So I had Braun as Avon, Kyrie Stringer Bell, Katie Marlowe, Kawhi Omar, Russ Chris, Giannis Michael, Embiid McNulty, Clay Thompson, Brother Muzon, Steph Curry, uh, Bunny Colvin, J.R. Smith Bubbles. Uh, Dame Slim Charles, J. West Vondas, Chris Paul Naaman, um, Kobe Weebe, uh, Uncle Dennis Butchie, Magic Johnson Prop Jill, Kevin Love Poop, uh, D'Angelo Russell uh, Wallace. He's definitely Wallace. Uh, Jimmy Butler Bodie and Marcus Smart Snoop. Yeah. Did pretty well. But, um, 
I don't know how they got Chris Paul as McNulty. That was way off. off. Way, way, way off. But when Kyrie and KD come back, it's gonna be it's gonna be some uh open season for the NBA. That's all I'm gonna say. Anybody could get the shit when he come back. I think he's gonna Clay Thompson to be back, Steph will be back. Yeah, because Clay Thompson, he practicing and shit now. He running on that leg. Yeah. Draymond, you know, he out there missing his dogs. Taking shots at Barkley. Let's talk about that, cause he got in his feelings when he got he had that little the little so interview. They say he got no rings, you can't talk. Hey but man, Shaq the only one who can make ring jokes when it Shaq's comes to Shaq's like, man. listen, and I'm 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 kind of glad that you you keeping it real with this because I always kept it real with Draymond, man. It's like you just ain't like the Paul Pierce shit. No, okay. it's not even the Paul. Pierce. I just feel like <laughs> niggas over elevate him, man. I feel like people been over elevating this nigga for so long. My only point was. This nigga's only nice like this because of who he's playing with. He's a product of his system. Like I'm like y'all know how I feel about the system shit. But this nigga is the epitome of a system. Yeah, this man averaging like what, six and seven right now? And that's solely because he's not like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't say Yeah, Barkley would have Dominated that nigga, but I don't think people, Charles Barkley was MVP of the league when Mike was at his at fucking peak. peak. Like at a dur- like during the ninety two, ninety three, Jordan is the best version of Michael fucking Jordan, bro. Like, and that was that was three Pete Jordan. That, yeah, was, that was the first Pete Jordan. And this man and this still won league a, MVP. This nigga still won a league MVP. Like this man's yeah. like that now. Yeah. So like, you're not gonna tell me this post Sixer days now. Yeah, so, you're not gonna tell me you have a better you he's not smarter than you like no nigga like they really said that shit that's crazy like bro. no nigga you getting in this bag you got to chill before i take your job nigga no <laughs> no nigga you can't sit at that table fuck is we talking about bro like you talking about this whole this whole shit Kenny Smith more of a factor than he was exactly no Kenny the Smith used, Kenny Smith used to get busy on that rockets jet. on them rockets teams yeah. so like I'm not gonna like nah bro you're not finna you're not finna do all this other shit bro like and this is what a lot of niggas been saying this is what what happens when when niggas make rings the end all be all because now you got niggas like this you're a yes, career you make the rings you are you're a career triple single nigga like 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 Barkley been saying bro like like no. Like Barkley on that team at his that peak. That was funny though. Triple like, single. Like Barkley at his <laughs> Barkley Barkley at his peak on that Warriors team without a without a clay. That's hilarious, isn't it, Drew? Triple single. Like Barkley on that team without a clay, without a Steph, would still be getting busy. Like I'm not like we're not doing that, bro. Like that's that's like what we talking about? <laughs> like who we talking about? Mm-mm. You better chill if I take your job. Nigga, you better you know, you better, get your fuck, shit together. Yeah, you better fall the fuck back before you get replaced. <laughs> You're replaceable. It's plenty power. Like, I just what I've been saying. Like, it's plenty power fours that would be on that team right now, putting up more points. Mm-hmm. Putting up. He misses dogs. Debbie misses dogs. He mad. He mad because them jokes. Them jokes is real. Them shit is. Them shit is factual jokes. Like, step your game up, nigga. Yeah, that's all he can do. Step, step your game, game up. up, nigga. Stop looking like you don't want to play. Step your game up. You and you and Kerr, you and Kerr can't even win twenty five games. You see Kerr the fuck out of here. You I didn't say he fraud. You and Steve Kerr can't even win twenty five games. You a defensive player of the year. You supposedly was one of the best players in each finals that y'all played. With in. Nick Nurse. He ain't fucking with Nick Nurse. I'm sorry. He ain't fucking with Nick Nurse. Lost Kawhi, Danny Green. Still out here getting busy. You're doing better than with... And this is no knock on the coach even before that. Who was the coach there before Nick Nurse? The black dude, uh, Noah. Uh, what was this dude? What was the that black, dude I name? I forgot his name. But he doing better than him. He's doing way better. He done a race Nick, like Nick, Nick Nurse is a good fucking coach, man. Why Chicago can't get in a motherfucker like that, man? I know Nick Nurse will have the Bulls at least a five, six seed right now, bro. Easy. I wouldn't argue that. Nick would Nurse. That, would that, would that Nick Nurse a two seed, right? No, nah, we two seed. No, we oh, okay. we bouncing between two and three, and it's with the Raptors. So right. yeah. he doing. He got Siakam out here getting twenty five a night. He's an MVP candidate. Siakam, one of them niggas. Siakam is one of them niggas in the league. Like, and it's on under the. He's and what's under, C. Kerr doing? Um, what is he doing? I see somebody put up a because it's his birthday. Talk about one of the greatest. No, the fuck he's not. One of the greatest what? <laughs> no, he's not coaches. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, man. that's all I got to say. You can't even get <laughs> you can't even get twenty something games without Steph Clay with Dre on the court. 
And Nick Nurse lost Kawhi. Hold on now. You had DeAngelo, you had D'Angelo Russell now, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, see? No, I'm not going to say that. We're not doing this yeah, now. Yeah, you had D'Angelo Russell not, and Draymond out there. You could doing do this. nothing. We're not doing this shit with y'all. not a good coach. We're not doing this shit with y'all now. Like, no. You can't even win 25 games. Like, Spolster proved himself. Nick Nurse proved themselves. Like, you a fraud. Get C. Kerr out of here. Nick Nurse might get coach of the year again. He should. Yeah, he should. He really he should. should. Like, I'm, he should. I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue that shit, bro. No more might so, go to the Eastern Conference Finals, bro. It's possible. They want to. No, the Raptors is like that. Like no, they, they like, like that, that for like, real. I'm not, I'm, I like, can't even get no Kyle Lowry jokes off no more. No, like, <laughs> niggas, niggas clown. No more lies. The Raptors lies, they boy. Nice, they lies. Like, they nice. Like they like that. Like I'm not. You know, that's one of the teams you don't want to run into. Mm-mm. You really don't. and they flying under the radar because of the the focus is on the. The Celtics and I see Maul said the other day like the Celtics don't want the Bucks problem and it's no knock against y'all but I mean you have to go off of recent studies no, and recent I'm, studies show like they bust their ass in the playoffs and they they squad ain't changed the Boston Celtics squad ain't really changed much except for Kemba so if you could tell me that Kemba's gonna go in there and be the flip switch then I have to see it though. I don't. I have to I see wouldn't, it. I wouldn't argue. I wouldn't argue nothing yeah. what you're saying right now. So, but don't tell me the Bucks are scared of the Celtics. No, I don't nah, believe that. No, nah. only people with the Bucks really got to worry about. Raptors. I would put. Yeah, I would put the Raptors as a bigger threat to the, than the Bucks and us. That's why I would. And want the Sixers that. lost to the uh, Warriors last night, even without Embiid and Simmons. That was nasty. Mm, man. But yeah, man, back on the dream on man. Step your fucking game up, man. Don't, be, don't come at legends He's like that. He's definitely not getting no max like, contract. You're not. But you're, hold on, he might get the little semi, the little hundred something million, because you know that ain't considered a max no more. The max is like one ninety, two hundreds. He might get a little hundred from somebody. You let me know. It's bums out here getting hundred m's. Okay, so now okay, that's all. That's all. That's, as long as you said that, that's cool. We got bums getting that. Uh, Drake get that as a bum. Cool. I always say he plays his role. He ain't no bum, but niggas you know. a bum, bro. Like for you to for you to have that stat line and you talking about a Charles Barkley like that, it's not even comparable, my nigga. Like stay in your lane, step your game up, bro. You you you. Damn him and Click Capella got you out here. Hours. You out here. You That's out here. Crazy. You out here getting purposely disqualified, uh, thrown out of games and shit, nigga. You don't want to take them L's. You you tried to you tried <laughs> when Steph broke his hand and all of a sudden your leg your leg hurt. Like it's, yeah. it's it's plenty shit with you this season now. Like, <laughs> it, it, like I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Like, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear no dream on shit, bro. Like, nah, you're not a Barkley. You're not. You're like you're you're that like, you're talking about a, a a nigga that's on the hundred greatest players list. You're saying that you're smarter than this man. Mm. That's you telling me. Mm. Mm. Like let's let's keep it a buck. Definitely, he ain't watching that man jockstrap. No. So. You can't even you can't even ask that man for a pair of sneakers after the game. No. <laughs> Damn, Draymond was hurt, boy. He hurt. You could you could have seen something on his face. Even hurt. I see you say she. That was funny. Huh? I see you say she. Oh yeah. Like, oh, she's hurt. <laughs> yeah, he had he his fucking feelings. He had his feelings about about the truth. Nigga, you averaging a triple single, my nigga. You ain't doing nothing. Oh, you fuck with these. Yeah, I, I like I like those and the ones before that, the forces. So you like the blue ones too, the high top forces? Oh no, that's not Travis. That's uh Don C. That's oh, Don yeah, C. That's, that's Don C. Yeah. But yeah, what else we got, man? That's about it, man. Unless you want to talk about anything else going on in the city or anything like that. Um, what you did check happen? out that um new title cash? Oh yeah, that new title cash is nice, man. I gotta check that. That's out. just nice. Um, uh, who else? Who else do we fucking with around here dropping some new shit? That's it. Yeah. I see G Herbo was in town last night, man. Yeah, I didn't I know about that until after the fact. Yeah, I, I feel everybody I'm a, been in that shit. Yeah, I'm a Herbo fan. I didn't know about that shit, bro. Like, I didn't see no promotion for it or nothing. Like, but that's good though that like, you know you can have a show with no promo still sell out. Yeah. So shout out to G Herbo, man. PTSD tour. He had King Von with him too. I'm not really a King Von fan, but a lot of people gravitate towards his music for some reason. So I don't you know. know none of them niggas you just named. <laughs> you don't know you don't know Lil Herb? Never heard of him until yesterday. No. Oh, okay. But yeah, shout out to G Herbo, man. Um what else what's else going on, man? In the city? Yeah, that, I think that was I saw it. uh Killer Mike was in Columbia. Yeah, he was yeah, shout out for the Bernie uh, uh Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Lydell was chilling with Killer Mike. Um 
Still not fucking with Mace, though. <laughs> Yeah, still not fucking with me. Didn't did Lydell have Killer Mike like a top like twenty five? Twenty five, like yeah. I'm not, I'm not buying them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no top fifty. Nah, I'm buying that either. No, it's definitely fifty rap. That's what I'm saying, dog. When it comes to these lists and all that, it's not a knock to have somebody low. You know how many fucking rappers there are? It's a lot of rappers. Lot so of for rappers. you to be top anything is a is is a head is a nod, man. It's got to be at least hundred fifty rappers that came out since the beginning of the time, if not more. Probably a thousand. Hmm? I don't know about a thousand now. A thousand. thousand rappers? You gotta think, bro. Like I don't man. know, bro. Like it's a lot of niggas rapping, bro. I probably say f- three to five hundred, maybe a thousand rappers that came out since rap started. Since rap started, I would. Can we name a thousand? Can you name a thousand? I don't think I can name a thousand. Nah, I wouldn't. I can't name. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about a thousand, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about no one. I'm talking about like even oh, okay, they like, I'm talking about like no, even right, no. Yeah, right, right, right. We right. count like Kane and Abel, like them niggas. If you want to count niggas like that, we can count them. But I still don't think it's a thousand. I know, man. I know, but yeah, that I'm not buying Killer Mike top fifty, and that's not a knock at Killer Mike. But uh, I'm, Dale had me tripping. Dale's a funny nigga, man. Hey, man, that's a Suns fan, man. And a Georgia Bulldogs fan. And a Falcons fan. I thought I had it bad. God damn. At least someone would have been close to winning the chip and dropped the fucking ball. I'd be sick if I was a Georgia Bulldog fan. Atlanta Falcons. Like, yeah. I feel for you, Dale, but hey, no love over here. Fuck (laughs) (laughs) y'all. About to get this shit rolling, boy. Panthers 2020. Yeah, man, man, man talk, let's, let's, let's talk some Panthers, man, like, before we got yeah, here. Yeah, niggas, niggas said Cam wouldn't be back, and my yeah, dog like, back, yeah, my I dog back. About, I wanted to ask this last, last week, well, uh-huh. we never, we didn't talk about it. How you feel about the Cam news, man, like, you know, niggas. Ian Rappaport is a sucker, man. What, what happened? Because Ian Rappaport ain't want to give it up on the TL, man, like, he, oh, other things could change. No, nothing's changing. <laughs> Nothing can change within the upcoming months. He is staying, like, I told y'all niggas, he was staying in September. I told niggas that. Now all of a sudden, oh, these could change within the coming months. No, no. And I have never been so comfortable at the number seven pick in the draft. Oh man, there's just so many prospects. Ooh, shit. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. So even if we don't get Isaiah Simmons, I could get Derrick Brown. If I don't get Derrick Brown, I could get Tristan Wolves, the offensive tackle. So. I'm happy either way. I got three niggas that I could get at seven that's worthy of a top five pick. So I'm Gucci. So I could get Isaiah Simmons, Derrick Brown, or Tristan Wolves to offensive tackle. So, so I'm good. How you what you projected for y'all this season coming up? Are you just taking it game by game? Oh, I'm taking it game by game. Ain't gonna be no predictions. All right. No, hell no. Not after these last two years? No, uh-uh. I'm not getting my hopes up. I feel you. I feel you. Shit, man. I'm 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 have I'm in the same boat with you, man. I don't know what the fuck we got. Brady going be on. back. Hey man, I want to say Brady really exploring his options, man. So it's like you know, me personally, like me logically thinking, you know, of course Brady coming back, like you know, nigga, you done played twenty years here, like ain't no sense in going nowhere. You're forty four years old, you know. Your big thing is the money thing, but at the same time, like we can pay you, but at the same time, bro, it's like, you know. I hear I hear we talking about getting Andy Dalton. I ain't feeling that. It's just like, you know. I'd rather y'all get Matt Stafford than get fucking. Yeah, Andy I heard Dalton. about Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford would be good with New England. Actually, that'd be a good fucking pickup for New England. Matt Stafford. You get Phillip Rivers. No. I take Matt Stafford over Phillip I'm right now. I'm taking Matt over Phillip. We get Phillip, we we're doomed. I think he'll do wonders in New England. <laughs> you put Matt Stafford with, with, with them, because see that that's always been his hold back, yeah, like in so, Detroit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think Matt Stafford would be a good look. He got a back problem, but I think he'll be all right. Hey man, Brady, if you're listening to me, man, shit, he might even be an MVP, MVP talk. So he go to New England. Yeah, he would. Um, Brady, if you're listening to me, man, you're appreciated, bro. Um, you ain't talking about this man going to Raiders. And it's all it's been shit. a good ride. If you're leaving us, um, you know it is what it is, man. I respect your decision either way. I don't think you should leave, but at the same time, like you know, you gotta look out for yourself. I see you done sold your house out there, so this shit might be a reality. So you know, it is what it is, man. Twenty years, man. I ain't, 
Like, this is the thing. Like, this is another, I think I said this on here before. Like, folks keep asking me, like, hey, you ain't about to be a Patriots fan no more. Like, y'all about to be losing and all that other shit. And I'm like, bro, like, like, what are y'all talking about? Like, what are you, like, y'all, I've been spoiled for at least 15 years watching football. I'm good. Like, I can take some, I can take some losing seasons, bro. Like, I'll be okay. It's tough, but, you know, I've seen us get to the big stage and lose. Like, I know what it's like to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've had years where we didn't make it. So, it's like, so we just, we didn't make it this year. We got put out second first round, round, first, first round. First, card. So, it's like, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'll be okay, guys. I just need one of them things. That's it. I need one of them things. So, we good? You got anything else? No, nah, that's it, man. Good. So, Jameis might be a cult. What do you think about that, Drew? I put that on the TL. Niggas thought I was serious. That man said that. That'd man be a said, good fit, though. That man said he didn't know he had to wear contact lenses, so he can see good now. So you might wanna, you might wanna invest <laughs> in Jameis. Uh, Jameis defensive player of the year. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I mean, as long as we get a quarterback, he a gunslinger, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm over gunslinger, but sometimes that shit ain't worth it. That shit ain't worth it, bro. I've had enough interceptions through Andrew Luck. Like the nigga threw a lot of interceptions. I'm I'm good on that shit. Are we coming on? We coming this on one season. This man led the league in yards and, and interceptions. interceptions. Yeah, Andrew Luck has done that. Otherwise, rookie year. We coming on one season after Andrew Luck, uh, you know, abruptly retires. Drew, how you? Y'all gonna have to get a quarterback though. Y'all might do some crazy shit. Shoot up the draft. To try to get. So I mean, we had, you uh, never know. I think we had like eleven. Oh, y'all might tank for Trevor Lawrence next year, huh? Nah, I don't want no Trevor Lawrence. Drew, um, how you how you feeling, man? It's been one year since since it happened. I mean, shit. What can I say? We got Jacoby Percet as on. quarterback one. Yeah, you, you just gotta gotta move, gotta move on, man. That shit whack, but. I ain't even had no time to even think about it. That it was nigga a- was still on the field when they announced that shit. That's there. what I'm saying. That's still. I'm sorry, but that's just still crazy how that shit broke down like that. Like I was watching that game and it was like, well, breaking news: Andrew Luck retires, and it showed this nigga walking on the stage on on the field getting booed. And I was like, whoa, like this shit happening. Like this shit happened way too abruptly, bro. Like what the fuck going on right now? Like. Nobody wants to be on the gym or say and his pill popping ass. Mm-hmm. Nobody, mm-hmm. nobody. Like that's that's what it just comes down to. I mean, Peyton Manning. I'm sure they could have worked out a negotiation, but I'm just really think it's the front office. I just think it's the ownership. I think Jim Irsay is full of shit. I've said this shit for many of years. I'm still a Coast fan though, but um, I just think it's it's a lot to play into that shit. I mean, also the decision mm-hmm. of you know you got a kid on the way, all that shit. Like fuck it. It was crazy to me. I was in Panama City, Panama, when the news broke. So I'm like living my best life, and then this shit. Oh fucking yeah, you happened. was. We didn't record yeah. that. We had, I don't think we recorded. Yeah, we recorded so that after. shit. That yeah, shit was right. fucking crazy to me. But I mean, like like Mike said, you got to move on. You got to pick it up and move on, man. I mean, I used to be like a crazy like football fanatic, throwing my phone against walls and shit like that. Like when we're losing or doing dumb shit. I say that I'm gonna stop saying that, but I don't know. I might still have those moments going forward. You just be too invested, man. I mean, I was it, it is games where you get invested. You be like, damn, we should have had that game. One hundred percent. I do feel y'all on that. So. Yeah. But like, I, I had to get out of that shit, man. I was breaking too many phones, and also it was just like, I mean, why am I really upset when I know this is the shit that I see every single week? Right. What did I expect to be different this week? You know what I'm saying? It's it's that it's that it's that uh. That fan that you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you get what I'm trying to say. It's that <laughs> it's just I I just interested to see how this shit. Matt Rule said he said we ain't even about to uh he said we about to just be a this is about to be like some clinic type shit. That mm-hmm. what he say. Like be running in the clinic. Oh, okay. That what he say. He said ain't he, I think somebody said, Oh, how the office gonna be? And somebody says is it gonna be this? He's like, No, it's gonna be like a clinic. Like, <laughs> I did like that pickup we got from LSU though, Joe Brady. Yeah, I Joe wanted Brady, him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, if we have a great offensive year, he will have a head coaching job at the end of the year. It'll be a one and done for Joe Brady. But I like, I like, I like what he did with LSU. There's rumors floating around about you know possibly trading all the way up to get you know Burrow with Brady, but no, Cam would be back. I'm just interested to see what we do at seven because it, it could be a lot of. I even hear the Redskins might be getting to a. Uh, Lions might be getting to a, 
Uh, Jordan Love, this QB from Nevada, might be going to the Chargers at six. We're at seven, so I think we we'll, we just traded our guard for Russell Okun in the Chargers, the tackle. So the tackle might be out, out the option for that. So it'll probably either be Derek Brown or Isaiah Simmons. They even talking about us getting Okuda, the cornerback, but I'm like, nah. Even though we're losing James Radbury, we got other needs to fulfill before corner. Oh, I don't want to fuck with that. You know, I fuck with Okuda, but no. I need a defensive tackle before I get a corner. Or a linebacker. We just lost with Keekly. So if Isaiah Simmons is there, I'll take Isaiah Simmons. Right. But if I get Simmons or Derrick Brown, I'm, I ain't complaining. Because Derrick Brown is a top three pick, to be real with you. But you got so many other teams got other needs. If the Redskins fuck around and get two of that, be the stupidest shit ever. Ron Rivera had to answer for that. But I don't see them boy passing on Chase Young. If you pass on Chase Young, you got some explaining to do. You just don't do no shit like that. So... Draft will be next month, so we'll see. Playoffs start next month, too, so I'm just ready for the Clippers and Lakers, man. That's all I'm really ready for. You ready for Clippers Lakers? They play today, too, at 3 o'clock. Yep. That's, that's, that's going to be a must-see. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Playoffs. Playoffs is coming, bro. Next month, boy. Playoffs is I coming. I think like the 15th. Drew, y'all looking good going into the playoffs? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm happy about that. And I ain't going to lie. Um, I watched all the other night. Yes, y'all what? did Y'all did Milwaukee. Lose. No, nah, when y'all played, uh, y'all played the the Pelicans. That was mm, the other night. Mm-hmm. I think y'all lost that game, but mm-hmm. I'm a, I believe in Duncan Robinson now. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a fan of bro. He's a sharp shooter. Bro, get busy with them. Yes, with he them does. Threes, bro. Yes, he does. <laughs> bro, get busy. <laughs> like, like he made me a fan of him. I'm already a, I I was already a Bam fan. You already know that. <laughs> but yeah, Duncan made me believe in him. That yeah, game. Sir. Like that man. That man basically put y'all on his back with them threes. Clutch. Yeah, he clutch as fuck. Yeah, yeah. He, is, he a rookie? Uh, Something like that. He's been undrafted. Oh, he's un- oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I fuck with bro. What, what's, I haven't seen nothing, nothing much from Tyler Hero lately, man. Nah, he's been... You, watch it. you see the nigga trying to shoot his shot on um, baby oh, yeah, girl on the try, boat? He trying to get your girl, man. <laughs> Talk about that real quick you get about here. Hey, you see your boy, he trying he try to put that white chocolate on Taylor Rook? <laughs> he had holler. That man, that man, what he, what he drew? Yeah. They was on the boat yeah, already, man. Like, so, uh, he was, she was like, how you know how to swim? He was like, yeah, you why, like, you why, like, why are you going to teach me? Why you want to teach me? She was like, oh, yeah, I definitely could teach you, but, you know, I, probably, I thought you yeah. already knew. He was like, you know, I don't know. Never know, but you you definitely can teach me. Yeah, Brett had his damn twelve o'clock <laughs> voice. So I'm trying to hey, so you missed my face. Just now. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> damn. Yeah, Egg nah. with G Easy and damn. You know, Taylor with Tyler. I don't know, man. It's like getting. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Man. It's like, getting what. It's getting. <laughs> it's getting what. <laughs> It is what it is, man. Like, I ain't about to be hating on no nigga, man. It is what it is. These I'm not, me at the end of the day, these so. These niggas you hating on. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It's a little nah, disappointing. Feel, feel, you feel, get feel. what I'm saying? Like, nah, yeah. Hey, that's how. Y'all remember Martin off on Natural Security? Mm-hmm. He was like. He was, <laughs> I'm not even going to say that, but Hey, man. Let's get him out of here, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, it is. I mean, it is what it is. Like, if I was on the show, I would have shoot my shot at her, too. Like, you know, I. I definitely thought I, I if if I was in that position, I definitely would have got Taylor. Easily. That was that was funny. That, that was, was funny though. Uh, that was funny. So you can teach me though. That nigga definitely did pull up from from the logo. Yes, like, he did. He really did. Um so yeah, man. Like we say every week on this show, man. If you hear anything or you see anything on the YouTube, like I said, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you hear anything or see anything that gets you in your feelings, always remember. We're just some messages. We out.